So we have here our embroidery machine, brother, and this is their model. First, we're going to clean this one and maintain this one before using it and before we go to our operation in embroidering our design. First, we need to remove this plate here and take the bobbin and also the bobbin case. I'm gonna remove this one so that this is where we place our wire for the machine. Yes. Next, after attaching the cable, just press this one here for turning on the machine. Let's wait. So this is the main user interface of the machine. So as you can see, there's a lot of tools here. But before that, we need to clean this one first. So first, we need to raise this one, this lever here, so that this needle will go up. And let's remove this one, this bobbin cover. As you can see, there's a arrow there. This one. And then, yes. Next, remove the bobbin. And then next, let's remove this one here. Let's slide it. Then remove the bobbin case. So we need to clean this one. Also remove this metal part. Remove some coin. And then let's clean this one inside. We need vacuum cleaner and also a br tiny brush. We have here the vacuum and also the tiny brush. <sighs> uh, this one, that little screw there, this one will help us to control the tension of the bobbin this one is already normal tension so we don't need to change this one so next I have this machine oil I'll just put a bit there okay put this back this also this one and put it back this one is slide in the bobbin so how to set up the bobbin this one have these arrows go inside here and then cut it and this one so next we need to remove this one to put some oil how to move this one let's go at the back and then remove this one here It's ready, so we need to connect this one here so that we can able to operate the embroidery machine. We need to clean this one first. This part here, this one will control this frame so that we can make our embroidery design. Escape. It says that the carriage of the embroidery machine will not move. Press OK. Okay. Then we need a thread. So here I'll be using yellow. Just the back, and then and follow the numbers. First is number one. Insert this one here, and next number two, go here. Next is number three, here. 
list. Number four here. Number five. Eight. Then number six here. And seven. Then eight. Cut. And then this one, number nine. And grab this one. Okay, you are ready. Next is we need a cloth. So next we are going to put this frame here with material. Let's remove this one here. Place this one here. And then, then adjust by simply pulling this from the outside and test if it's tight and place this one here and then we have this thing called pilon just put it under the cloth and now we have here existing designs we have their florals letters frames mickey mouse and poo so i will sample a poo here this one is what color so poo is yellow so this one is the sewing order. I have here this one. This part is, I think it's color yellow. And then you can see it's red. So it, you cannot start the machine because it's red. So you need to down this lever here and then green. And then press green. We have a problem, so the bobbin thread is running out. So we need to remove the bobbin under in this frame. So I'll show you. So first, you need to raise this one again or lower this down. And then let's cut this one first, this thread, by clicking this scissor. Okay, and then raise this one. And then remove this one carefully. And, and then click this one. Don't worry, it will continue. Get this one, then. So we're out of bobbin thread. So we need to remove this one. So here, I will show you how to put bobbin thread in the bobbin. First is, you need to put this one here, and then get some black thread. Just put it in the back. Now for the bobbin, we only need the one, the two, and the three, four here. Put it in the one, two, and then here and go here to number three just follow these pictures one two and and then as you can see this one here is red it's supposed to be orange so to activate the thread the bobbin you need to push this one here as you can see it's orange so press this one, here you can control the speed of the bobbin, oh my god, stop, again I have a problem, so the bobbin thread, you need to again do that, activate, I think this one is okay, and then press this one, press this one again, Now it's done. So the next is, as you can see, it's two already. It says light brown. So we need to change the thread to light brown. Just remove the existing thread. And place it back to not be tangled. I have here light brown.
we start. So finish, next is red. The same process. Remove the th existing thread, place it back, red thread, same process. And then press this green button. I'm sure that this one, this one is the outline or the border. I'm sure this one is color black. So I have here the black already. So just, we just wait for this part to finish. Okay, it's done. Next is the final, the outline, and then it's color black. So again, join. Same process. So. Finish sewing. Nice. I can say that the machine is doing its job. It's nice. Look how nice it is. So next step is to remove this extra thread. Yeah, I'll remove it later. So now I'm going to clean this one. I mean, keep because I already finished designing and operating. First, you go here in this side. Just need to grab something here and then pull. After that, turn off the machine here. Remove the cable. And then put it back here. Then place it back here. And this one, cover here. Nice. So hi guys, that's it. So that's how we operate our embroidery machine here in inside Pablo Mindanao. So as you can see, this is the output of our embroidery machine and we call this machine as uh, Mickey because he has the picture of Mickey. <laughs> and then story time! So this is my first ever machine that I operated ever since I was a newly hired here inside Paula Mindanao. Since I was curious, I told my manager that what kind of machine is that? And they said that it's never been used because they said that men don't use embroidery machine because it's for girls only. But I've already taught several of people in designing a embroidery design and also the operation and maintenance of this rather embroidery machine and yeah I can say that the machine is doing well and great because I can say that the job is really nice no overstitch and yeah I'm happy actually I did not expect the outcome yeah amazing good job my friend so yeah I hope you learned something in this tutorial in this episode see you soon guys